Right, listen up, team. There have been reports of a new player in the underground. We don't know who it is, but we know they're organized, motivated, and building a team of henchmen and minions, the like of which the world has never seen before. This person is attempting to become an evil genius. Sir, sir. What is it, Perkins? Would you say that the evil genius would have an underground lair, sir? It would appear not, Perkins. However, I fear it's only a matter of time. What do evil lairs look like, sir? Well, Perkins, if I were to build an evil lair, not that I would, you understand, I'd design an evil lair the like of which the world had never seen. Probably build it into a mountain, Perkins. Underground. Throw in a barracks for the men, and a control room to organize the away teams. And a strong room, of course. Store all my ill-gotten gains. Probably have to build some recreation items for the men. They get disloyal, you know. Maggots. Could you build traps, sir? <laughs> Hundreds of them, Perkins. Don't want agents snooping around while you're taking over the world. And I'd build a cover operation to hide the base from prying eyes. Camouflage. That's the key. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not an evil genius, sir. Don't be such a damn fool, Perkins. Right, team. You have your orders. Get out there and find me a madman. Hello and welcome to this Let's Play of Evil Genius with me, Grey Hunter. So, I just want to say a quick note to all of you guys watching. This first episode is essentially just going to be me. Waffling on about how great the game is. So, that disclaimer aside, if you're still listening, let's get on with it. So, I guess I should probably start off with... Uh, when I found out about this game. And it was all the way back in 2004, before the game was actually released. And it was when I was over at a friend's house, of all things. And we were playing, um... Stronghold, I think. Yeah, it was, it was Stronghold, or Stronghold Crusader. And, uh, his f dad came in, and his dad said, Oh, I found a game that I thought you guys might be interested in. And we thought, huh? He found a game? game that he thought we'd like. That ought to be interesting. So naturally we were intrigued and we had a look and it turned out that what he found was that opening movie that you just watched. Because that was the trailer for Evil Genius. That was the actual trailer back in the day. And I remember that uh, after we saw that, we spent the entire day afternoon, not playing Stronghold or Stronghold Crusader or whatever, whichever game it was, we spent the entire afternoon designing bases. Yep. Based off that solitary screen cap, when the commander is telling Perkins he's a damn fool, and if he were to build an underground, uh, evil base, he'd build it as an underground lair. But yeah, just, just that one screen cap got us going. And I think the thing that interested us the most about this game was that you are playing as the evil genius. You are playing as the bad guy, not the good guy, you are playing as the bad guy. And while granted, now I know that uh, you can play as the bad guy in a lot of different games, I think this was the first one that I'd seen that overtly said it. I had it right there in the title, you are the evil genius. You're the bad man. You are the bad dude. And to 12 year old boys, that was awesome. <laughs> because we, we played so many games where we were the heroes. There was Medal of Honor, where you're a brave American soldier, storming the beaches, Normandy and saving, you know, saving your friends and that sort of thing and stronghold obviously you're lord of the castle you fight for your people but you're not a bad man so this was a, this was a very strange thing for us it was a game that overtly said you're the bad guy you're the bad guy so that's how i first kind of got interested in the game. That's how I found out about it, that's how I learnt it. And I remember that um, I remember that we both pre-ordered it. And the reason that this game is so dear to me 
is, well, one of the reasons at any rate, is that it's the first game that I ever pre-ordered. I hadn't pre-ordered a game before this, and this was the first one ever. The first one ever. That's... I'm sure that the gamers among you who are watching this who game game, as opposed to casually gaming, it, it's one of those things that you remember. You remember the first game you ever pre-ordered. Or the first game that got you interested in a genre, a specific genre, that sort of thing. And it, it's, it's just one of those things. It's one of those things. But anyway, uh, we should probably start moving on a bit. I've been doing this for almost five minutes now and not even clicked a button. Not even clicked a button. That's disappointing. Okay, so what is Evil Genius? Well, Evil Genius, I think the best way to describe it is to use the actual tagline that came on the box. I still have the box, by the way. I am not playing this through Steam. I'm playing this from my CD from back in 2004. This is off my CD, not the Steam download. So there you go. That, that's a bit of interesting trivia for you. Grey Hunter still has the original Evil Genius CD from back in 2004. It has survived two house movings. I still have it. I still have the box. I still have the manual. I still have everything. And the manual was pretty good too. The manual was pretty good. And it was very in theme. But we'll get to that. We will get to that. So, Evil Genius. The best way to describe it is the tagline that's actually on the box. I'm reading it from the box right now. It's the World Domination Simulation. So, this game has a very 60s vibe to it. Everything in it essentially walked out of Austin Powers. Yep, everything essentially walked out of Austin Powers and James Bond. And the stereotypes, oh, the stereotypes, there's just so many, you can't even count them all. It lampoons pretty much everything from the spy thriller genre. So, it, actually, good example. Your base location, because this is a base builder, your base location, it is an unknown island of unknown location. That's right, it's uncharted. Except for you the guys who sold it to you, the minions who you hire, who obviously know where it is, apparently every agent of justice in the known bloody world, and tourists. Yes, yes, there are tourists to your island of evil world domination, and they are your bane. There is just no way to describe how annoying tourists are without actually seeing it. So you will you will probably hear me getting very irritated at some of the tourists who randomly wander into my base. It probably will happen. And it'll probably be hilarious when it does. But we should probably continue. So the goal of the game as evil genius is to take over the world. World domination. And the way you achieve this world domination is through completing objectives and these things called Acts of Infamy. You usually need to do some of these Acts of Infamy to progress the objectives, so they sort of go together, hence why I'm explaining them at the same time. So the Acts of Infamy are evil acts that essentially they just increase how evil you are, how evil the world knows you are, your evil laugh, and a lot of them are stereotypically wacky. So, for example, late game, there's one that's obliterate Nashville. Why do you obliterate Nashville? Well, just because country music has to be stopped from spreading. That's that's the entire reasoning behind it. You're destroying the home of country music. That is the entire point. It's hilarious. But, uh, yeah, so you have to do acts of infamy generally to progress through objectives, and then you complete the objective, you get the next acts of infamy, etc., etc., etc. Now, objectives have to be completed while you defend your base from the agents of justice who periodically visit your island to stop your evil schemes. 
yeah, they, they come to your island that is uncharted, unknown, apparently. I want a refund on that goddamn evil genius evil base starting kit. And if... If they see you doing evil things, they run away to their alliances, and their alliances get all, you know, antsy and they're pantsy and go, hang on, hang on, you're evil. And you go, why, yes, I am. How would you like to discuss it? But agents come in five different types. So there's soldiers, saboteurs, infiltrators, burglars, and investigators. And each of them has a specific mission, which are kind of obvious from the names. So I doubt I need to explain that. But the game mechanic that I did want to mention is the fact that there are these things called super agents, and each alliance has one, so there's five of them. But we'll get to that soon. And if they come to your if they come to your base, that's really bad news. Yep, that, that's really bad news. But we will get into that later. <laughs> it's going to be one of those things that I'm going to yell about and, well, not really yell, but I'll be very annoyed when they turn up, I think. And you'll probably see me getting, well, you'll hear me getting quite annoyed. But, uh, yeah, so you play as the evil genius. And because it's a base builder, you don't actually have any direct control over your minions. You sort of just give directives and they carry it out. Except henchmen. Henchmen are a special case, but again, we'll get to that later. Uh, every evil genius starts with one, though. So, they're in, they're in game from the beginning. But if super agents are the buffed version of agents, henchmen are the buffed version of minions, pretty much. They fulfill much the same function. They're your super agents. Actually, that's a really good way of describing it. They're basically, yeah, they're your super agents. Uh, but yeah, it's a great game. It's a really good game, and there's lots of nostalgia in this for me, so I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And if I'm having fun, you guys are having fun. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. Of course I'm right. So, let's get it started. New game. I have finished the game on hard, but for an LP, it's it's not worth it. It's it's not going to work. So we'll be playing on medium. I will leave video hints on, mainly because sometimes they'll come up and they do the explaining better than I ever could, and occasionally they're funny. So we'll leave video hints on. We'll go medium. Now these are the three evil geniuses you can select. There's Maximilian, who's essentially Ernst Stavros Blofeld, right down to the monocle and the really bad jacket. But his bonus is broken. His bonus is actually 10% uh, off research costs. It's not really that handy. It's kind of shit, actually, because it's broken and they they never fixed it. Though granted, Rebellion now owns Evil Genius as a franchise instead of Elixir. So, there's that. But also, it's a game that's almost 10 years old now, so it was never going to get that fixed. If it wasn't fixed within the first couple of years, it wasn't going to get fixed. So, there's that. But Maximilian isn't really my favorite anyway. He does have a good starting henchman, who's Jubai. Jubai is a ninja. Well, he's not really a ninja. He's a samurai. He's a samurai warrior, and he's very, very good. But yeah, you can get him. You can get him later, and I will get him later. So we don't really want to play as Maximilian. We also don't want to play as Alexis. Not because we're sexist, but because her bonus is pretty shit too. Her bonus is essentially just ugh, better loyalty. Yeah, that's that's it. At least Maximilian's bonus had some tangible benefit. This one, you can achieve that just by strategically placing loot. Which again, we'll see later. But Alexis is kind of lackluster in her um, abilities. So, my main man, my main man whose abilities work and isn't shit, is Shen Yu. Now, Shen Yu is... I don't know what nationality he is, but he's an Asian evil genius. His special ability 
feedback is that all agents spend 10% less time on the island than they otherwise would. Which is very, very good, and it's brilliant later, especially because super agents still count. So without further ado, let's get started. And that's his henchman there in the background, Lord Kane. Lord Kane is a very interesting fella. Sunk the Titanic. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> 